Hello guys, this is Torrance Movies and today I'll be giving you the origin of the Torrent. Going through their initial society and the liberation from the Mogu. So without further ado, let's get into the lore. Thousands of years ago, an intelligent bovine race known as the Yongol roamed the plains of central Kalimdor. They were big and strong creatures who lived in harmony with nature following the teachings of the demigod Cenarius. Their relationship with Cenarius was very close and often he walked among the nomadic Yongol, delighted in watching them flourish as a race. However, eventually the Yongol were concerned about a possible war with the trolls who ruled much of Kalimdor at the time, so wary of sharing their hunting grounds, they decided to seek new lands. Scenarius urged them to seek peace and stay, but they realized it was futile, so they set out to the south, at some point reaching the edge of the Mogu Empire. For a time they foraged for food and hunted on the edge, but this did not go unnoticed by the Mogu. The emperor of the time, Chang the Merciless, was fascinated by the Yongol and their immense physical strength for just creatures of flesh, so he ordered his servants to capture the nomads and subject them to flesh shaping. They were transformed into an even mightier and more intelligent creatures, while at the same time their temper was altered, making them much more savage than they were in the past. These changes might have improved their abilities and seemed positive at the time, but they were fatal for their society. Under the tyranny of the Mogu, their strong oral storytelling tradition was lost due to the strict Mogu laws that forbade them from ever discussing their heritage. Eventually, the Yongol, some thousands of years later, would side with the Pandaren and the other races and they would defeat the Mogu Empire and gain freedom, but still, much of their rich history faded away. At this point, the Yongol were very split, some insisted that they should abandon the past and just go ahead and forge a new destiny, while others wanted to go back. The disagreements grew heated and even led to bloodshed as the Mogu experiments left a big mark on their temper. Eventually, most of the Yongol set out to the north, determined to return to life of hunting and living with the spirits of the nature. Some of the tribes ventured all the way north to the icy lands of the Storm Peaks, becoming known as the Tonka, while others settled in central Kalimdor and reunited with their ancient teacher Cenarius, becoming known as the Tauren. The Tauren rediscovered their old traditions and studied under Cenarius again, learning druidism, while the rest of the Yongol practiced shamanism. However, not all of the Yongol left Pandaria and those that stayed back kept their original name. Soon enough, they found themselves in a really bad position as tensions were constantly rising with their former allies, the Pandaren and the other races, and conflict soon ignited over land and resources. Fearing an all-out war, they decided to just move west outside of the Serpent Spine Wall. While they had their own land there and they kinda were settled on that part, they were completely exposed to the mantid attack cycles that would threaten to exterminate them as a race. However, they fought back and this led to a strong warrior tradition within their society that would make them much tougher and more savage than the tribes that ventured north. For a while, the split groups actually maintained contact with one another, but when the Sundering happened, any connection they might have had in the past was lost. Now, 10,000 years later, the Tauren, Tonka and Yongol are reuniting once again, but their relationship would never be the same.
Alright, and that is all I have for this video. Now, do leave your thoughts on what you would like to see next. And don't forget to subscribe for more content like this. And also, like the video as it really helps out and keeps all the videos going and all the content going. Thanks a lot for taking the time out of the day to watch this video. And see you next time.